Okay, so now we do, uh, we actually do a more simple thing than the one which I was showing you on the blackboard. One is to understand how is, uh, how is made a class. Um, uh, I will introduce in the, these two, three things uh, to uh, this hour, uh, which is the standard form of a class that I expect. Uh, with, uh, and how to put comments inside the class and then we go to analyze and uh, the other aspect that we didn't analyze yesterday which is how to um, uh, get the input from the console but that, that we will do directly on the keyboard because I, I was not able to, uh, to finish my slides so so, <clears throat> this is our linear equation solver from Lambda. And if you, <clears throat> on the top, we have the declaration of the, of the package. Yes, that's a mandatory. Now, here we have our dodgy of frame dot first, and we change it to change. We had the call uh, yesterday, I think, hello world. But that's okay. And, uh, so on top of the, uh, of the class, you have the variable declaration. Actually, in Java, you can variable declaration also inside. But let's say that the, the main, the main uh, fields is better to have on top, so you distinguish where we are. We have a constructor. <coughs> uh, we say that the constructor is always present, that is always a default constructor, but if you change the um, if you change the the way the, 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 the default constructor, you have to declare your constructor. Uh, here we have the code with uh, in, in particular here because we declare the private, the variables, we have to also get a reset. I usually don't like very much to use private variables for variables that has to be visible outside. But that is a, a matter of taste. <coughs> Letting the, the variable visible is not considered very, very much object oriented, but I, I do. And I found, I find much simpler to declare the variable public than the, making them private and then assessing them to a getter and, a, and having a setter to set them. So usually I don't have in my program this part. Then you have, or also you can, can it's not necessary to have a main, but obviously if you want to execute the class, you need to have a main this class. Uh, in the same project, in Java, you can have, uh, uh, all the classes can have the main. Then uh, when you want to compile, you have to select which one you want to execute. But having a main in each class for me is just uh, an exercise because of each class that I build, I test a lot. For me, it's a chunk of, of code that I I execute alone. Another way is to not have this and anyway use uh, some uh, tools for testing the class and uh, use the class tester instead of the main. And then, but then we will see later in another class um, in future how to use these, uh, uh, these tools for testing the classes without doing it. The UML here in this case, uh, as you say, is uh, represented, represented like this one. Is the one that also I try to, uh, to write on the blackboard before. So you don't need to have uh, some tools. There are tools for building uh, the UML of the classes and their interrelationship, but you can do by hand. Here when you say that uh, uh, the fields are uh, private, 
and the other are the two segments. You can use the same thing for uh, abstract classes or for interfaces. If you have an interface, you don't have any fields here, you just have this one. And you, if, if you have an abstract class, you have also this field, but you have to declare uh, somewhere that the class is abstract. So you actually don't have an implementation of the class. You don't have an implementation of the method uh, in particular. And you have to implement then a concrete class, which is a subclass of the abstract class. So, commenting. Uh, you should read you should read the first chapter of uh, Clean Code, the Clean Code book, which presents a different way to. <coughs> uh, there, the, the idea that I um, that I also sustain is that uh, in reality, if you write the code well, and if you if you give the proper name to the variables, you don't have to comment the code. Because commenting is distracting. Here, this here I put some comments, some particular type of comments. Because before you saw uh, two slash in the comment. That is the comment that goes on one line. This comment is a particular comment because it is stuck on a slash, <coughs> and two asterisks, and then it finish here with the asterisks. These are Java dots. There is a program in Java, which is called Java.doc, that you can execute on your programs, and automatically it's created a documentation of your code if you document the classes like this one. Here in particular, I <coughs> did, uh, I comment everything, even too much, in a sense. <coughs> Uh, and uh, depending on where the command is, Java doc understand uh, what is this command. The command uh, uh, just after the package declaration is a command just a package. Say what the package is. Uh, say sorry what the class is. This says this is a linear equation solver. And uh, you can notice also another field that is uh, an add auto. This uh, is, a, is a particular keyword, an annotation. Like, like here. Here is add parameter, there is add auto. Uh, add parameter, add author, add version and other are called annotations in Java and they are a particular character that are read by uh, the Java doc compiler and he knows that uh, that authors mean that then that is the name of, of who did the code after a parameter there is uh, the name of the parameter and the explanation of what the parameter is So <coughs> here I say Auto Ricardo Ribon, 2013, a lot of years ago, so much years ago. And uh, here it says that the parameter A is the first coefficient of the linear equation, and the parameter, parameter B is the, is the known term of the linear equation. So, all of this is read, and uh, it could be a, 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 a part of command is uh, produced, it is uh, producing HTML5. So it's uh, immediately dis uh, displayable by a browser. Here the command uh, ends and commands begin. This is a Java doc command, because otherwise you don't have to put if you don't put the double asterisk, it's not a Java asterisk. These are annotations. 
as I said before. And uh, usually don't forget to put, to put a, a copyright or a copyleft. We use GPL. If you don't put any anything on, on your code, your code is not uh, is by anybody. So uh, I used to do open source software. So I but still I want that my authorship will be recognized and so I, I put the GPL3 uh, uh, per, uh, copyright which is actually copyleft because it, it gives the, uh, the uh, capability of using and producing and copying and distributing the software my software, everybody can do the only obligation is that when they do their and distribute their, soft, their software, they also distribute uh, they distribute openly. The software is maintained open, built on GPL. So if I do a thing and you modify my thing, when you or you keep by yourself, otherwise if you distribute, you have to distribute as open source. Uh, to produce a Java doc document, you uh, you go to the project in uh, in Eclipse, and uh, here is generate a Java doc. You see. <coughs> you go and click on generate a Java doc. And happen a uh, windows like this one. <coughs> you have to select uh, which part type of Java doc you have to create here. I had a package GeoFrame and so I was creating the Java doc for that package. <coughs> At that time I was using Java 6 as you see. 1.6.0 JDK five years ago. And here you have the destination. You can browse on one of your directory. And uh, and uh, I put uh, my all my Java docs in in this documentation file. Uh, use standard docklet <coughs> <coughs> just as that uh, uh, the, the way that the code is uh, operated and then reproduced in the documentation is the standard way to choose it by Java. And the result is uh, a class I easy at the time, uh, in this case was Hello Hydrologist. And uh, it was not very much inside, but you see, here there were, okay, it was doing well. What I was doing here was uh, optimal channel networks code. These were all the classes that I was using. And the typical classes was like this one. Say, they put the author, myself. And uh, this is the, the first car class, the first class, uh, the name of the class, and here there are all the methods, and each method is explained. So, Java may be for the first programmer to provide also a standard way to produce documentation. Actually, in Java, you have, you have at least three ways to be able to, uh, to document your code. One is to put a slash, slash slash a, a comment, com, a line comment. One is to use JavaDoc, and the other will be to use annotations. Actually, annotations, you can expand the annotation of the standard annotation of Java, and you can use annotation to comment your code. That is the most subtle way to comment your code, because annotation allows a property uh, <coughs> Annotating allows a, a, a property which is, which is called code reflection, meaning that it is useful for other programs to understand what the program is doing. 
and so you can modify maybe the or specialize the behavior of the code uh, just in function of the, the, the annotation you have inside the code. But this is a, comp a very complex issue, topic, with issues, obviously. And for instance, object modeling, since the object modeling system is a very complex piece, piece of Java code full of annotations and the reflections. Everything is well changed. So actually, you have four, uh, three way to. Uh, no, we are, you have three way to put documentation. You will find all the three ways inside the code that, that you will go to it. The fourth way actually is to write a code clean, in a clean way. But that you have to read. The better thing is just you just read the first chapter of of clean, the clean code. So this is the structure. Class comment, field comment, variable declaration, method comment, constructor, method comment, getter and setter, and the real method of, of, your, of, of your class. Uh, those are the standards met for everywhere, every time. But uh, I also, uh, in my own programming, usually I provide some print command. I provide some print command and uh, because uh, during when I am using uh, the code sometimes I want to, to see there are also here two ways to see what is in, inside the class one way is to activate the debugger inside the Java uh, Eclipse and we, we did uh, two days ago a little bit but sometimes you want to be, you want simply to, to, to print the, to be able to print the contents of your class for maybe a later use. So usually when I design a class, I, I also provide a, a print method for printing the main characteristics of the class or writing the, the main characteristic of the class. Then usually I don't use that method, but in case I can use it for printing for in another program for printing what the class does let's say I want to reuse a class I don't remember exactly what the class does so I can do a main and a small program when I, I activate the class and uh, okay, do some experiment with the class and, want, and print the result of the class <coughs> so put the print in the class here for instance uh, in, uh, maybe I, I did also in linear equation solver dot print in the original version and declare static so, so it's a class is a method of the class not a method of the objects I instantiate so that's uh, that's the commenting uh, 